Hey guys, welcome to Coach's Feud. I'm your host, Esther, and I'm gonna bring out the two contestants. Yeah. Oh, you're going down, you're going down. All right, guys. Ready to win, ready to win, and it's a win it. Let's start Coach's Feud. Okay guys, Come on. this is round one. Name a reason a person might wake up at two in the morning. Go. Alarm. Quick. Hungry. <laughs> so you guys were both wrong. It is actually going to the bathroom. So number one. Yes. Okay. But Chad won because hungry was on the list and <sighs> yours was not. Alarm wasn't on the list. All right, guys. Next question. Did you say alarm? Yeah, an alarm. At two in the morning? You wake up two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Chad has one point. Jacob has zero. Next question. Name something you might eat with a hamburger. Go. Pickles. Ooh, you guys were both. <laughs> I think a body just fell on the top of, of our gym. Something just hit the door on the side. So. Let's continue. Um, <laughs> um, name something you might eat with a hamburger. Chad said pickles, and Jacob said ketchup. Um, Chad, you one. want got a point. But Another point. The number one answer was French fries. Oh, oh I, thought I thought it, was it goes on. on. Okay. <laughs> so basically, so far, this is going exactly like. When so far, odds. you guys are stupid. I destroy. I destroy. Okay. I destroy. Name something you haven't done since school gym class. Go. Dodgeball. Jump rope. No. You've done that. Ooh. <laughs> you get it. Jacob won this round. It was actually running a mile, but dodgeball was second. Wow. Okay. Woo. Okay. okay. Two one. Two one. So I went ahead and asked a hundred Americans. How much you tip for good service? What was the common answer? 20%. 10%. Ooh, Chad, you're cheap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jacob no was right. The top answer was 20%. We're tied. Okay. No, 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 that's what they usually, that's what they recommend. But most people don't Chad, do that. it's okay. <laughs> we Just, can't all be winners. Yeah. Okay, now it's a tiebreaker, mm -hmm. and then we'll go into too the too lightning too round. But for the tie-breaking question, who is the most popular character? <laughs> There's definitely things falling. Who was the popular, who was the most popular character on Friends? Ross! I've never seen that show. Oh, Ooh, what? Jacob's a loser. <laughs> wow, that's unfair. Well, then Chad wins the tiebreaker, but it was actually Rachel was the correct wow, answer. Makes sense. Wow, that makes sense. So now we're going to go into round two, the lightning round. You guys have to answer as fast as you can. Tell me something you can buy that costs dollar or less. Go. Toilet Candy. Ooh, both of you got a zero. <laughs> it was nice. fruit. Okay, name a country that speaks Spanish. Go. Mexico. South America. Jacob won. Uh, the most common answer was Spain. Okay. <laughs> okay, name a liquid in your kitchen that you hope no one ever accidentally drinks. Go. Bleach. Rubbing alcohol. You guys keep that in your kitchen? Oh. <laughs> Corn syrup. Fail. <laughs> Um, moving on, it was soap. Okay, <laughs> wow. you guys never even got a point on the lightning round, so we're gonna go into lightning round number two. Name something that breaks down. Car. Rocks. <laughs> Rocks? Um, <From> erosion. <laughs> Oh, what? Wow, he's thinking deep here. He's going deep. Um, I'm sorry, Jacob. Sorry, I'm but, too smart for this shit. But breaking rocks is not on my list. Um, Chad, you win. Hey, buddy, how's everything? Hey, going? guys. Okay, so we're week two, day two. Week two, day two. <laughs> Wheels are falling off. Second week. You guys, hang in there with us, all right? We're going to keep these workouts going. For today, We've got, as always, our dumbbell workout and our non-dumbbell workout, which includes a warm-up. For our dumbbell workout, we do have a strength piece and then a Metcon. Um, for our non-dumbbell workout, 
we've got just a Metcon today because it's a big long burner. So we're gonna have our nice demonstrator here, Esther, Queen Esther. And so for the start here, we're gonna get three rounds. The first movement will be 10 helicopters. We're gonna touch that opposite hand to that opposite leg. We'll do 10 of those. And then we're gonna do 10 lateral raises once we get that hair out of our face. 10 lateral raises, just to get these shoulders warmed up. This is a big shoulder day. And then we've also got 10 front raises. Nice job, Esther. And then 10 arm swimmers. So we're gonna to come to the ground, otherwise known as arm haulers. So we're keeping that chest up off the ground and bringing those hands in front, keeping that nice tension on those shoulders, and then we'll get 10 air squats. Making sure we get full depth there, push those knees out, make sure that hip crease passes below that knee, keep that chest nice and tall. We'll do 10 of each of those movements, and then we're gonna do three rounds of those. Move through those as quickly as possible, get nice and warmed up. Then we'll move to our strength piece. We have four rounds of five single arm dumbbell strength press. Okay, make sure we got full extension there, squeezing all the way to the top, keep that core nice and tight. And then we'll do 10 single arm dumbbell push press. So right from the five single arm strict press into the 10 strict press. Okay, then you're gonna to switch to that other side. Okay, same, five single arm dumbbell push press into those 10 single arm dumbbell push press. Okay, so once you finish each side there, that will count as one round. And then you'll move, you'll rest two minutes and then you'll move to that second round. So you'll do four total rounds. Okay guys, now we have our non-dumbbell workout. So we're gonna start with the warm up. It is a Tabata, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times. We're gonna alternate between two movements, plank and up down. So let me explain. Three, two, one, go. 20 second plank, okay? You know, just hang out here for 20 seconds, okay? Just gonna relax, enjoy. Stay still. Please stay still. Okay, then you're gonna rest for 10 seconds. Then you're gonna go into up down. So 10 seconds rest and now 20 seconds of up downs. Just like that. Then the next movement will be planks, up downs, alternating between those two. Okay, then we're going into our workout. So it is, like I said before, a long workout. This workout should last you 20 to about 30 minutes, depending on how fast you go and your intensity of these movements. Okay, so first movement that we're starting with is 10 burpees. Please show us a burpee. All the way down, and then jump up, full extension. Okay, 10 burpees. Then you guys are gonna do another 10 burpees. So basically 20 burpees. Okay, then you're gonna add 25 shoulder taps. So you guys are gonna get into a plank position. You guys are gonna tap your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then you're gonna go back to 10 burpees. Then you're gonna do 25 shoulder taps again. Two, three, four. Then you're gonna add 50 lateral lunges. So these are kind of like classic squats, but you don't have to do the kind of twisty turning with your knee or ankle. So you're just gonna do lunges, okay? You're gonna do 50. So one, two, alternate, okay? Then we're going back to 10 burpees. Okay, and then 25 shoulder taps. On the leg, let's go. Okay, then 50 lateral lunges. Then we're adding sit-ups. So we're doing 100 sit-ups. Then we're going back to 10 burpees. <laughs> Can we move it please? Okay, shoulder taps. Lateral lunges. Sit-ups. Then we're going into our last part, which is 10 burpees. <laughs> shoulder taps, 25 shoulder taps. 50 lateral lunges, 100 sit-ups, 150 air spots, okay, 
Lower. Lower. <laughs> and that is it for you guys. Okay, so there's your non dumbbell workout. <laughs> she has breathing really hard. That's just a synopsis of what to expect. Okay, guys, and that was just the warm up. So, non dumbbell workout and the dumbbell workout. Post your scores on Wad Hopper. Love you guys.